Liverpool nil, Crystal Palace one. Former Liverpool player Stevie Nicol alongside me to discuss. Stevie, how damaging could that be for Liverpool's title challenge? Um, how big? How how big a damage do you want? I mean, mm. the title's gone. You know, you can't you can't lose at home to Crystal Palace, who are just above the relegation zone. If you want to, uh, if you want to win the Premier League, I mean. I, I, Liverpool are in a position before this game where they couldn't afford to drop any points, never mind lose again. Um, so, yeah, I mean, is it damaged? I would suggest it's broken, not damaged. I can't see how Liverpool win the lead now. Uh, they're going to have to rely on everybody around them, not just losing one game, but dropping more than, more than a loss uh, and a draw. So, what, six games to go? I think it's gone. I think today is gone. And ironically, the last time, or previously, Liverpool had, had blown a, a, a title challenge uh, against Crystal Palace a few moons ago. Uh, and it seems like they've done it again today. Crystal Palace were excellent. That has to go on record. I thought they defended uh, stoically, heroically, and they had a bit of luck. But you look at Liverpool's chances and chances, and chances. Is it bad finishing, or is it good defending, or is it a bit of both? Uh, well, the, the chances you're talking about, it's about, it's about finishing. Um, listen, I don't disagree, particularly in the first half. Liverpool were awful, uh, but a lot of that was down to what uh, Crystal Palace were doing. Uh, but in the second half, when you have... I'm thinking of four in particular in the second half, where this is down to bad finishing. Uh, Darwin Nunes uh, hits Henderson from four yards. Uh, Jota should have scored as well after coming on. He's five yards, six yards out. Hits a defender. Uh, Mohamed Salah should have scored. And of course, Curtis Jones, that the whole stadium couldn't believe. Clean through, middle of the goal, goalie to beat and puts it about five yards wide. I mean, we're talking about four chances that there's no question should have been sitting in the back of the net. But to just point the finger at that wouldn't really tell the story. You know, there's one thing to lose a game missing chances, but there's another thing to lose a game when you're going for a title and you produce such a, a horrible performance because that's where it was. Yes, they had opportunities, but in general, they weren't good. The Too many giveaways, too many bad decisions. Uh, obviously, the execution missing with the chances. This, this was a horrible performance when, when everything was in front of Liverpool. You know, you're chasing a title and you turn up uh, and produce a first half in particular the way they did. It, it's, it wasn't a title winning performance and the performance is going to cost them the title, if you ask me. It's been a horrible week for Liverpool at Old Trafford in the Europa League against Atalanta and now against Crystal Palace. How big a part has tiredness and lethargy of these Liverpool players played in this poor week for the club? I don't, I don't believe it's down to that, really. I think so it's what's, just, what's it down to then? No, I'm just going to tell you. Form. You know, there's, the, there's, there's one thing that a, a, a manager, a coach, whatever you want to call them, can't do. And that is give players form. Um, and, and to me, that's what it's down to. And when I say form, I'm talking about, in particular, the, the front players. You know, the amount of chances Liverpool have had in the past couple of weeks, um, particularly against United in both games, we're talking about today. Um, you know, you to win games and to win titles and to win trophies, you need particularly your front players to be informed. Uh, and right now, you know, I just rattled off five minutes ago, four opportunities from four different players uh, and not one of them hit the back of the net. I mean, that's just down to form. And the problem, the, the, the truth of the matter is right now, in front of goal, Liverpool are off form uh, and you can't win titles being off form at this time of the season. It's not possible. Individuals that you can point the finger at, or is it a collective effort here? Listen, they lost as a team. Um, I don't think there was anybody today for sure that can that cover themselves in any sort of glory. Uh, every 
single one of them was guilty of making making mistakes today. Um, and as I said, particularly the front players with the opportunities. Um, horrible day, horrible day. And, and, and again, <laughs> years to come, like previous years, this will be a day that's looked upon as the day that this year's title was lost. When you look at the injuries that Liverpool have had, and, and Mohamed Salah picked up that hamstring injury on international duty with Egypt, he's not come back the same player. The effort's there. It's just, I, I don't know, Stevie, you, you played the game. When you feel like you're not going to miss, then everything goes in. But for him and for Darwin Nunez, and Jota's been injured and he's come back, and Luis Diaz has helped as well. It's one of these, if you're in a three-horse title race, you need everybody to be on their, their top form. And ultimately for Liverpool, they've just stopped short. Is it injuries or is it other things that have stopped them from not being able to put the ball in the back of the net, as you've mentioned with regards to that form in front of goal? Well, I've kept using the word form and, and, and I'll, I'll use it again. You know, you if you play with a front three, you can, you can probably carry one if one of them is not on form. But in terms of finishing, if you're if your whole front line is off form, then you can't expect to win games. I mean, that's just the bottom line. Your, your front players are paid to score goals. Your front players are paid to to to, to produce. Um, and when all three of them aren't producing, and then you make changes, uh, and and a fourth, and I'm talking about Jota here with with the opportunity he had doesn't produce. Then you can't win football matches. You know, you've got to take your opportunities when they come along. And the truth of the matter is as well, it, it would have taken one goal for Liverpool to win this game because had they got one, they would have got the second one. Uh, but the key is they didn't get the first. Uh, and it's down to it's down to poor finishing. Uh, and that poor finishing is down to form. Yes, you can look at Jota and say he's been out for a while. Um if you want to talk about Salah's hamstring injury, he's he's got what four games under his belt since he came back, so there's no really an excuse for that. Um, yeah, lost of form at the wrong time, uh, and it's going to cost Liverpool the title or any chance they had of winning the title. You won five league titles as a player. You saw some funky results at this stage of the season. Do you think now? With Arsenal and Manchester City, Liverpool's two title challengers, if they both get through in the Champions League this midweek, do you think Liverpool might just say, I'll just play the kids, Jurgen Klopp, against Atalanta? Because he'll know then he doesn't have the midweeks and the Thursday nights in the Europa League. Or do you think it's a case of right now all the eggs go into this basket against Atalanta to try and win in Bergamo and then Fulham next week will take care of itself? What do you think will happen this week? Well, I don't think he's any choice. He has to go and he has to go and win at Atalanta. Uh, he absolutely can't think anything other than the title's gone, um, and so it, it has to be full steam ahead against Atalanta. You know, he he can His mindset will be that both Arsenal and City are, aren't going to lose between now and the end of the season. They might draw, but that doesn't do Liverpool any good. So, so right now they have to produce an incredible performance in the, in the Europa League uh, if they want to go through. Uh, and that should be the only thing he's thinking about. He obviously has to get over today uh, and he, ha he has to find a way of geeing his players up, particularly the front players, and getting some confidence in them to get some form back because they're going to need, they're going to need three goals at the very least to stay in the tie. And they're going to need probably maybe four, unless it goes to penalties, to actually win this thing. So when you've got a front line that's off form, a front line that can't seem to buy a goal, uh, that's a tough ask. But it's going to be a, an incredible job to get his players lifted between now and that game in Atalanta. Let's wrap this up. I want to talk about the Liverpool defence. 23 times this season, Liverpool have gone 1-0 down. You want to be in a position where you just need one chance to take it and to win 1-0. That's very difficult when 23 times you find yourself 1-0 down and no clean sheet at Anfield since the Manchester United game. How big an issue is that? Defensive issues with Alison Hart and Virgil van Dijk changing partners all the time at the back compared with the issues up top. 
Well, there's a classic line. I think it was Fergie that said it. Um, and it's really simple. Defence wins titles. And if you if you let the opposition go ahead 23 times in one season, uh, <laughs> that tells you where your biggest problem lies uh, in terms of the whole season. Uh, so, yeah. Defence wins titles. And when you go behind 23 times in one season, and we're not finished yet, then you're not going to win the title. Simple as that. Liverpool nil, Crystal Palace won. Palace with a huge three points, a super goal it was as well for Eze in the first 20 minutes of this game. And what a difference Olise and Eze playing alongside Mateta makes. Big three points for Palace, but for Liverpool, a day they'll want to forget. Bye for now.